By now, we all know that REITs allow you to invest in real estate and collect rental income. But do you also know that there are three main pathways to invest in REITs, other than buying it from the market? In this video, we will explore the three pathways and discuss the advantages of each. If you like explainer videos like these, do drop us a like and subscribe. Real Estate Investment Trusts or REITs are investment vehicles that allow individuals to invest in real estate properties without having to directly own, manage, or finance the properties themselves. REITs offer a way to gain exposure to real estate markets and earn dividends or distributions from rental income, while enjoying capital appreciation. Like stock, REITs can be bought from the markets directly from one's trading account. But besides buying REITs from the market directly, you can also get vested in REITs via a REITs Exchange Traded Fund or ETF. REITs ETFs are essentially investment funds that are designed to track the performance of a specific REITs index. As such, REITs ETFs provide exposure to the real estate sector by investing in a diversified portfolio of REITs. Like stocks, REITs ETFs can be purchased from the stock market directly. But a major advantage holding REITs ETFs instead of the REITs directly is diversification. REITs ETFs typically hold a variety of REITs that own and operate different types of real estate properties, such as residential, commercial, industrial, and retail properties. The REITs in the ETFs may also be diversified geographically. This diversification helps reduce the risk associated with investing in individual REITs. However, ETFs come with fees that need to be paid annually to the investment firm managing it. This can range from between 0.1% to 0.7% of your portfolio value annually, and this might add up to a hefty sum every year. A second pathway to be vested in REITs is by investing in a fund that invests in REITs. Like REITs ETFs, REITs funds provide greater diversification into different sectors and even geographies. However, the difference between REITs funds and REITs ETFs is that the former cannot be traded in the market. And REITs funds do not usually track an index, like a REITs ETF. Instead, REITs funds rely on the acuity of the investment manager who will make the decisions on what to invest. Given that REITs funds are usually more actively managed, the fees will be higher when compared to a REITs ETF. This can range from between 0.8% 3% of the assets under management annually. And finally, the common pathway is to simply buy the REITs that you want directly from the stock market. Besides the one-time transaction fee imposed by the broker, there are no annual fees to worry about ever even as one holds on to the REITs and enjoys the rental income. But the downside is, to achieve diversification, one needs to buy the different REITs such that the portfolio is more varied sectorally and geographically. And this may take a longer time when compared to buying a REITs ETF or fund. While achieving the desired level of diversification, there is a risk that the REITs you select might underperform the market. Or go out of business entirely, as it has happened before with some badly managed REITs. In conclusion, investors should consider their investment goals, risk tolerance, and preferences when choosing how to invest in REITs. Direct ownership of REITs provides more control in terms of investment costs but there is less diversification. Owning REITs via funds will be more expensive especially in the longer run, 
but you achieve diversification almost immediately. Can you think of any other benefits or disadvantages in investing in REITs directly or via ETFs? Do comment below. And if you found this video useful, please do drop us a like and subscribe, and share it with those who might benefit from this.